I think the thing I liked the best about Elder Callister's book is that it brought everything together into one place. It was a really good place to start for Book of Mormon scholarship. The book is a good starting point for Latter-day Saints who want to know more about the Book of Mormon and don't quite know where to begin. I appreciate that Elder Callister was able to take some complex issues and distill them down into nice, uh, sort of bite-sized, digestible, uh, and, and interesting uh, sort of summaries or, or overviews or discussions of, of what this scholarship has, uh, has been saying. My favorite thing about it was that it was a, a general authority of the church, the general Sunday school president, taking on issues that Latter-day Saints commonly encounter and not so commonly encounter. There's a lot we don't know, there's a lot of uncertainties, a lot of ambiguity, um, but Elder Callister was able to provide a, a very nice overview, a very nice sort of picture or portrait of what the situation is and how it's relevant to the Book of Mormon. He talks about these by pointing out things that critics have actually pointed out that initially when the Book of Mormon was published there was no evidence for. He talks about several examples where we actually have evidence for them now. So I think it's going to be good for a lot of different people. People that have been in the game for a while, that know all the issues. It's a really good summary of those issues. But for people that have never heard of it before, Elder Callister makes it accessible, easy to understand for anybody that's just diving in and wanting to understand Book of Mormon scholarship.